What's up? It's time for some sports. Montez here. You're there. Let's get it started. Negro Valley and Matia Valley are linking up for a good cause in girls volleyball. It's for the annual Win With Pink match for breast cancer awareness. Even rivals can agree everyone hates cancer. I mean, everyone. Anyway, the Wildcats are hosting a Mustang team that's off to their best start in program history. Mustangs come in as the 11th seed, while the Wildcats are ranked 14th. Tough, hard-fought first set for the Wildcats. Mustangs trying to tie things up. Nikwa goes for the kill. Nor Meeham is there for the huge block. Nikwa recovers but sends it over the net. Prime opportunity for the Mustangs. The offense sets up Georgia Tech commit Michaela Dowd, and she finds the open spot. Game tied at 10. Later in the set, Wildcats with a chance to win it. They held off two set points by the Stangs already. It's their turn now. Matias sets up Dowd again, but her shot is rejected by Cora Calling. Nikwa holds on to win the first set, 26-24. On to the second. Another close one, Nikwa leads by just one. Nice back and forth by both teams. Only one can reap the benefit, though. Shannon Scria goes for the kill, but it's too strong. It sails out of bounds. We're tied at 17. It's now 24-20, match point after a Nikwa 7-3 run. Mustangs looking to stay alive, and they do. Nikwa can barely handle the serve. A nice hustle to keep the ball in play. It finds Dowd again, and she makes them regret it. That makes 11 kills on the night. 24-21 Nikwa, Mustangs are still in it. You have to respect the heart of the Mustangs. I mean, heart is important, but the comeback was short-lived. And Suing served. Matia has trouble with Maria Mayhew's kill, and that's a wrap, folks. Nikwa holds off MV and wins in straight sets. The Wildcats also went on to beat Matia in the Wheaton Classic on Wednesday. All right, time to show some girls tennis some love. Neighborville Central is heading over to Nikwa Valley to score off against the Wildcats. The Redhawks have been on quite a roll. And what I mean by that is they've yet to drop a conference match so far this season. Let's see if they can continue. We'll start you off in the one doubles, Hannah Beck and Hannah Newman versus Sabrina Chow and Natalie Atkins. Redhawks dropped set one six to four, trying to avoid a sweep now. Second set, Chow on the serve. Check out the cat light -like reflexes by Natalie Atkins. Two incredible defensive returns up front. The pressure forces Newman into the net and Nequel gets the point. Two plays later, match point for Nequa. Redhawks looking to stay alive. Chow on the serve again. Hannah Newman says it's time to end this right now. She sends it back to the child. That's the ball game, folks. Nikwa wins in straight sets, 6-4 to 6-1. Two one singles, Jacqueline Chi, the freshman sensation, is facing senior Jessica Chin. And let me tell you, Chi wasn't timid at all. The freshman came out firing. She gets Chin off balance and then scores with ease. Are we sure uh, she's a freshman? Anyway, Chen's experience eventually came through, up 5-2 in the set. Nice rally between the two. Then Chen puts some heat on her backhand. She takes the first set, 6-2. Second set, more dominance by Chen. She just couldn't keep up with the senior, but she has a very bright future. Chen wins in straight sets, 6-2 to 6-love. Overall, though, Nikwa wins the war, 4-3. How about some boys' soccer now? Nico Valley already has five wins on the season and is undefeated in conference play. It's hosting Naperville Central, a team hoping to hand out that first loss. We pick it up late in the first half, tie game, but not for long, because look at this move by Nico Korupmitri. My goodness, that kid might need some new ankles. 2-1 Redhawks. Early in the second half, Redhawks lead 3-1 now. Mustang still fighting. Check out the bicycle kick to Emerson Beinhauer. He gathers himself and then he tickles the twine, trimming the Redhawks lead to just one, three to two. The Wildcats nearly pulled off the comeback but fell short in the end. Redhawks barely escaped, but hey, a win is a win. They get the 4 3 victory. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Back to you, Natalie.